What's it like to play a wind instrument during pregnancy? Physical, mental and emotional factors of being pregnant and how it affects the life of a professional musician. Physical factors. The air. One of the most frequent questions that I've received during these months is how does the fact of being pregnant affect the column of air when playing? I will start by saying that I'm very lucky to have a normal pregnancy development that's allowing me to continue with my activities more or less within normality. Before the pregnancy, I thought it would be much more difficult and I also thought it would be a great difficulty to play the old. Preparation in advance is very important in terms of breathing and stability of the air column. I think the fact of having a stable and established breathing technique with our wind instrument is essential. If this were not the case, the difficulty would be bigger since the new placement of the organs and wave in the abdominal area would not facilitate the work. Actually, I find breathing more difficult while exercising or even speaking than when playing viola. Lack of energy, a feeling of constant exhaustion. As professional musicians, we are used to doing multiple activities through the day. Rehearsals, concerts, lessons, recordings, study, trips, planning, emails, etc. etc. This is complicated during pregnancy. The energy is not enough for everything and you have to plan more space in time. It is a matter of prioritizing what is most important and urgent at all times and postponing or delegating the rest of the things for later. This is an interesting topic related to effectiveness and time management. Tiredness. Recovery time after a concert is much longer. At the moment it's not so noticeable, but the next day you feel completely exhausted and it is even necessary to take a few days off to achieve a complete recovery. We also have more difficulty playing standing up during the last week of pregnancy. Better to do it in a sitting position or with a high stool that serves as a support. Otherwise, we will be damaging our lower back and pelvic floor. Lack of sleep. Lack of sleep, especially during the last week of pregnancy. The constant visits to the toilet to pee, a large belly that does not allow freedom of movement and to be comfortable during rest and mental exhaustion since the head does not disconnect for a second about the fact of being pregnant don't help uh, to fall asleep for a long time followed. My recommendation is as far as possible to take short breaks and micro siestas that will help us recharge our batteries to continue our day. Morning sickness. Dealing with nausea during the first months of pregnancy has perhaps been the hardest part as it not only appeared first thing in the day, but the discomfort lasted 24-7 for several months. Throughout the first months, I was practically unable to study. I couldn't concentrate, so during this time, I did technical maintenance routines that were easy to carry, both physically and mentally. Normally, these symptoms occur during the first trimester of pregnancy and perhaps you have not yet shared the news of the pregnancy so it can be an extra physical and mental burden when carrying out rehearsals, lessons or concerts. Food. As musicians we travel frequently and there are times when uh, we end up eating just about anything along the way. It is very important to maintain a healthy diet that helps us avoid poor digestion, which of course will affect us when we play our instrument. Transportation of materials and weight. As musicians, we are also used to carrying the house on our backs. Instruments, seat music, books, music stands, equipment, clothing, etc. During pregnancy, it's difficult to carry a lot of weight and can have terrible consequences for both us and the baby. My recommendation is to listen to your body and never force it in this sense. Try to find solutions like a suitcase with wheels or ask someone to help you. Clothing. 
The fact that the baby will not stop growing during the nine months of pregnancy will make you have to plan the purchase of clothes also for the concept. It doesn't seem very important at the first, but I assure you that from one day to the next, a shirt, pants or dress may not treat you. Better to be prepared. This is us. Avoid trying or playing other people's reeds and or instruments during pregnancy. It's not a good time to catch a disease if we can avoid it. In addition, today with COVID-19, the measures must be even more extreme if you are pregnant. Concerts. The feeling of being on stage during pregnancy is interesting. The feeling of adrenaline and enjoyment of music make you forget for a moment the tiredness and constant feeling of fatigue of being pregnant. People's faces are also interesting when you go on stage with a considerable belly of pregnancy. I think the situation should be normalized and it's necessary to make it more visible. Mental and emotional factors. Emotions. During pregnancy, many fears, worries, anxiety, etc. will appear and it's important to know how to manage them. Even if the main feeling is happiness for the new baby, these emotions can and will likely appear. Fears and doubts about how to combine a professional career as a musician and motherhood or the changes you will have in lifestyle, schedules and routines may begin to appear. The pregnant woman's body is developing constant hormonal changes, so the main feeling is like being on a roller coaster. I'm not a mental health professional and here I'm telling you my personal experience, so if this is an issue that worries you or you have problems in this regard during your pregnancy, you should go to professionals to help you personally. Relaxation and breathing techniques. Practice physical exercise such as swimming or yoga and breathing and relaxation techniques. Mindfulness will help us cope much better with the pregnancy. Regarding maternity leave, it will depend on the mother's employment status. It will not be the same if you are freelance, have a work contract or are self-employed. And it will also depend on the country where you live since the aid and permits in this regard differ greatly from one place to another. You will need to plan ahead and assess the options available. Resting, organizing and preparing tasks in advance can help us better cope with those weeks of adjustment. Each woman and each pregnancy is a work, but I hope that my experience will help you to understand it a little bit better to make visible and normalize motherhood in musicians, women and to be as well prepared as possible for it. I would have loved to find this type of information, so here is my little contribution. I hope you find these tips useful. Share your impressions with the hashtag Music Bayside Ogo on social networks. You can find more information about the Music Bayside Ogo project on the musicbayside.com website, where you will find the blog, you can book your online lessons and much more content in podcast format. Also on the social networks, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to receive all the weekly notifications with the new videos. Thanks for being there and I see you very soon in the next video. Welcome to the Music Bayside community. On the website of Music Bayside, musicbayside.com, you will find information on how to get online lessons and personalized attention and a free subscription to the newsletter. Through the email mail at musicbayside.com you can get in touch. Share the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel Music Bayside where you will find new videos every week. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to be tuned. Have you heard about the Patreon platform? If you like the content I'm creating in Music Bayside and you want to support the project with a monthly donation started at $1, you can visit my Patreon page, patreonpage.com slash music bayside obo where you will find all the information about it thanks for being there and i see you very soon in the next video